Hi everyone, I wanted to make a follow-up video to the Starseed Men video I made a while ago. I had always planned on making more videos about this topic, but I just kind of forgot to do them. So um, I wanted to give some more information about the patriarchy and why it came about and what the um, overall goal was for it. So. Initially, um, I had mentioned in the last video that Mother Earth is a female planet and it was always intended to be run by women. And for a long time, it was just women on this planet. Um, women are actually, we have this ability to reproduce on our own. So we can actually, um, it, it's called parthen parthenogenesis. And um, so we can actually create life without having sex or without a sperm or without a man. So for a long time, that's just what happened. Women would just give birth to baby girls. Um, and then one day the creator gods, the individuals, these powerful higher dimensional beings who actually created this planet, they decided to create men. And um, I don't exactly know why they, created men, I think maybe, you know, maybe it seemed like women needed a companion. Um, I imagine that's what it was. So they created men and men were introduced to this planet. But from the start, there were a lot of issues between women and men because women were kind of like, okay, well, we have all the power and we just create babies and now there's these men here, but what do they do? Like, why are they here? Like, what is their purpose? And then, you know, you could create a child with the help of a man, but then we like didn't really need that. So it was just really confusing. I think it was, there was a lot of tension from the beginning between both groups. And especially because men, I don't think ever really figured out what their place was on this planet um, in conjunction to women. And just as far as why they existed as well, like what, what was the purpose of them being here? So, um, so we lived under a matriarchal age for a long time and I think even parts of the matriarchy kind of got a little distorted because once again women are like, well we have all the power and we still don't get why men are here, like what are what are they doing, why are they here, and so it was all that tension was still there. So it was decided to, um, that this planet would go through a patriarchal age where men would be in charge. And the whole idea was so that they really could step up into their own and figure out why they exist, um, what their purpose is to, um, you know, to come up with a reason for them to be here other than, to put it very bluntly, being sperm donors. So a reason that they existed outside of women that had nothing to do with reproduction. Um, and to, for them to really figure that out, to step up into their own and to um to help balance out the, the the sort of battle of the sexes um so so a group of individuals um we could say women because women um were always running this planet um made a decision to create the patriarchy to quite literally give birth to it to hand um, the reins of power on this planet over to men for this this um, time frame, which was about 5,000 years, that they would get to, to have sort of all the resources, everything flowing in their direction um, as far as energetically, all the energy flowing in their direction so they could create, you know, their own, um, their own version of this planet, I guess you'd say. And women were going to just step back and let the men do this so that they could come into their own and so that we could kind of get more of a balance between the two groups. Um, the men at that time, like I had mentioned in the last video, were um, starseed men. And by that, I just mean men who were benevolent, higher consciousness beings. They were um, full of love. And so they were really running the energy of the divine masculine. So when it was envisioned, um, the patriarchy was going to be 
all these men who only know the energy of the divine masculine, which is the energy of unconditional love. It was going to be them stepping up into the leadership roles and running this planet for 5,000 years from that place of, of unconditional love. And as you can imagine, um, leadership coming from a place of the divine masculine is going to look very, very different than coming from the place of the divine feminine. And the divine feminine is the energy of power, of source, creation, God type power, of being able to create a life, give birth to it, sustain it with our own bodies. That's that's our power as women. Or that's our energy, I should say, as women. Um, men's energy, though, the energy of the divine masculine is all heart chakra energy, unconditional love. So you can imagine that two people in leadership positions, one coming from this place of divine feminine power and one coming from a place of divine masculine masculine unconditional love it's gonna look very very different right and the results even if we get to the same place would be a completely different path that both these people would take and um i think um from the perspective of the women who sort of gave birth to the patriarchy and really wanted this to exist in the first place it was going to be such a massive learning opportunity, especially for women to sort of take a step back and look at men and look at the way they do things and um, see what the energy of the divine masculine in a leadership position looks like um, and to, to learn from that. So it would help us grow and expand as well. Unfortunately, what happened, um, these men were given this power of the patriarchy, all these beautiful, higher benevolent, male beings and unfortunately soon after this planet was invaded by these sort of um these very dark demonic energies um who i guess we would say are, are distorted masculine male energies but it's kind of more just like like when i said in another video i talked about parasitic people it's kind of a better way to put it as a parasite because there isn't really anything in them it's just it's just emptiness it's like they've gone so far away from the light that there isn't any light in them so they have to feed off of the light of others in order to sustain themselves and to survive versus um ordinary people who can just get their light directly from source so it's the, these parasitic individuals um attacked this planet um they saw an opening when the reins of power switched um energetically when all this stuff was happening energetically to allow the men on this planet to to run the patriarchy it's like there was because the energy switched um it gave them an opening to come in and attack and nobody had any idea this could happen no one thought this was possible i don't think anyone none of the women who i mean gave birth to this could have ever even imagined i know that those individuals have a lot of guilt and a lot of shame and other issues because of this, because no one had any idea this was possible. This was not the intention. The intention was just to give these men who really deserved it this chance to step into their own and to figure out who they are and to gain self-confidence and to find their place outside of, of, of women, you know, like that they're, to find a place outside of just their role in reproduction or, you know, to really come into their own. So, um, so unfortunately that happened. And then since then it's just been, you know, all downhill. And, um, most of those men were, were killed right away. Um, you know, some have been able to incarnate throughout the patriarchy. They usually are killed or they're tortured, or they're, you know, bullied, um, they're attacked in a lot of ways, um, by this larger group of men who obviously don't want these men here because, um, they don't want them to gain enough power to take back the patriarchy and to make it into something positive like it was intended to be. Um, so that's, that's where we're at now. Oh, so much information um so i think that the most important thing for you guys now to do who are these um you know star seed men or indigo men or crystals or you're from all these other 
non-human magical dimensions who are currently here to help. Um, the best thing you can do to help at to help at this point is really to just hold the energy of the divine masculine. So the energy of unconditional love, even just holding that energy all the time, you would be surprised by how much of a positive impact that's going to have on the entire planet. The other thing I want to say is I think it's so important for you guys not to um, get caught in this idea that this sort of, um, like when you hear people say bad things about the patriarchy, I think it's so important not to get caught up in that, okay, this idea that the patriarchy is bad because it was run by men and men are bad or men are evil. So of course it was, it was evil because they were in charge and it's the patriarchy. You know, because that's not actually at all what happened. Um, the men who were intended to be in charge of the patriarchy would have come from a place of the divine masculine of unconditional love. We would have spent the last 5,000 years progressing forward. I, you know, I have no idea what they would have created, but I, I'm sure, I mean, it would have been just a really huge growing time for everyone, for both men and women. It would have been really marvelous to see what they would have come up with it it would have looked so different so it has nothing to do with the fact that it was run by men it has to do with the fact that this other group of, of individuals who aren't even human came in took over and they've been running things since then so um i just i just hope you guys are really conscious of whenever you hear someone say something bad about the patriarchy just consciously remember that it, it's not because it was run by men it's because it was run by these individuals who aren't even from here who are evil <laughs> and basically have used this and used earth um as their own source of food and fuel and everything and their own personal playground of hell for the past five thousand years and i think what makes me really sad about all of this is that Everybody missed out on so much because these men never got their opportunity to step up and lead. Um, I feel really sad for all those men who were intended to do this. I feel sad for everybody who suffered a lot because of what happened. Um, we, we like missed out on so much because of it. And it's sad because now we're moving into a new age. So those men... Um, you guys will get leadership opportunities. It's just not quite the same thing because this would have just been you guys just in charge and really like sort of your time to shine and that was all just taken away and it's just really sad, everything that happened. Um, so, I think to, to recap all this massive amount of information, um, I would just say that the best thing you guys can do right now is, as men who came here to help is, is to really just hold the energy of the divine masculine and just focus on, you know, you probably all have something you're really passionate about, like the environment or helping animals, and just really focus on, on helping that. Um, once again, you guys are here to, you're the, the new standard for the men on this planet, so don't ever lower yourself to be like them. They need to raise their vibration and and who they are up to your standards so just really hold that energy of the divine masculine and force the other men on this planet to come up to your level um and i think that's pretty much it for right now i i do want to say one more thing i i would like to do like a series of starseed men videos helping you guys with lots of things. I don't really know what you guys are interested in right now or what you're looking for. I was thinking of doing a video that um, doesn't have anything to do with planetary service, but is more about just helping you guys, you know, really go out on dates and find girlfriends and stuff, because I know a lot of the starseed men I know are really shy, and that can sometimes make it harder for them to date, and so just, like, making videos as well on topics like that to help you guys um, um, be able to get girlfriends or feel confident in that sort of stuff too, like maybe social situations. Um, so let me know what you guys think. You can always email me with topics um, for future Starseed show ideas or questions. 
if I get a lot of questions about one topic, um, then I'll know, okay, you know, make a video on that because they're all really interested. And so, um, yeah, and thank you so much for supporting me. I do read all your emails. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So until next time, thanks.